Hey everyone, welcome to how to find the inverse of an exponential function. This is Nicholas JMV. So let's go ahead and get started and let's talk about what an inverse of an exponential function is. Now in class we're going to go over the, the example of, of how to find the inverse of 2 to the x. And you can find that from a graph easily but we run run into a problem and you'll see we'll run into a problem when we start trying to find the equation. Okay, so um, when we look at that, the inverse of a function of an exponential function, the inverse function of an exponential function is called a logarithmic function. It's read as log base b of x, x is greater than 0, b, uh, b is greater than 0 and b cannot equal 1. Okay. So notice how the logarithm form to exponential form. The base of the exponential is the base of the logarithm. Notice how the logarithm is equal to the power of the expo exponent. Notice how this is b to the y equals x because when we switch and do the um, algebraic form of an inverse, we have to switch x and y. So be very careful on that. Okay, so this is what we're going to use today to help us rewrite exponential equations in logarithmic form, in their inverse form. Okay, so let's look at some examples. Okay, so you're probably going to see when you write, in, uh, write each equation in logarithmic form, numbers and also, okay, variables. So notice how we have uh, 12 squared equals x in the first example. So um, if, you, if you look at that, so 12 squared equals x, my logarithm is going to be the same base as my exponential, which is 12, so log base 12. Remember, the logarithm is always equal to the power, which is squared, and then this is x right here. So there's the inverse. This is the inverse of that exponential. Let's go on to part b, b cubed equals 8. So I'm going to write b cubed equals 8 here. And I have now <clears throat> the log. The base is matching the exponent, so it's log base b. Okay, And the logarithm is always equal to the power, so I'm going to put 3, and then 8 goes here. So there's the inverse of b cubed equals 8. And lastly, e to the y equals 9. Okay, Now this is special. So when we have log... Okay, we're going to have log base e. e. So the logarithm is equal to um, what the exponent of the exponential is, so that's y, and then we have 9 here. Now, log base e, that's when we have actually what's called natural logarithm. So log, you probably remember that. So this would be actually ln of 9 equals y, and there's the inverse of e to the y equals 9. Okay, it's a number. Okay, so that's our first example um, where we have some numerical values here of writing exponentials in logarithmic form. So when you write an exponential in logarithmic form, you're writing its inverse, okay? Okay, so I've got a few more examples here. Now write in exponential form. Now these are more of some equations, okay? So these are a little more challenging. Okay, so let's look. So f of x... equals 2 to the x minus 3. So when we talk about doing this algebraically, we're going to switch f of x with y. So you have 2 to the x minus 3. Okay, now you switch x and y around. And now we have to resolve for uh, y, but y is in the exponent. So now let's rewrite this in logarithmic form. So we're going to say log, the base is 2, the log is equal to what the power of x is. So I'm going to go over here equals y minus 3. So that means the x goes here. And now look, y is out of the exponents on the same level here. And so just add 3 to both sides. So we have log base 2 of x plus 3 equals y. There's the inverse. So now we can just switch and write f inverse of x. So log base 2x plus 3. There's the inverse of our first one. Okay, let's look at part b. So we have g of x equals 2 to the 2x plus 6. So g of x becomes y. We just switch the notation and leave everything. Oops, 2x plus 6. And now switch x and y. So you have x equals 2 to the 2y plus 6. And apply our logarithmic rules. So you're going to have log base 2 is equal to the power, the log is always equal to the power of the exponent. And notice how I write that first because you'll get these two mixed up, this number and this. And so now we solve for 
y by subtracting 6 from both sides and dividing by 2. So you have log base 2 of x minus 6 all over 2. You could simplify this more. And I'll write the inverse here because I'm running out of space. You could simplify this up a little more, but this is okay from here. Okay. And we've got two examples left. So we have h of x equals 1 ninth times uh, 3 to the x. So we have h of x equals 1 ninth times 3 to the x. So we have y equals, we get rid of our function notation, and we go ahead and put y there, so 3 to the x. So now we have x and y, switch them. So you have 1 ninth times 3 to the x, okay? So multiply by 9, so I get 9x equals 3 to the x. Or, I'm sorry, 3 to the y. Sorry, switch them, 3 to the y. Made a mistake. And now, use your logarithm rule. So you have log base 3 is equal to y, and then 9x goes here, and there's your inverse. So h inverse, okay, h inverse of x is just log base 3 of 9x. There we go, there's our inverse. Last one, okay, look, t of x. So t of x equals 3 to the x minus 9. So write this as y equals 3 to the x minus 9. Interchange x and y. Okay, now resolve for y, add 9 to both sides. So we have that nice x plus 9 equals 3 to the y. Okay. Now take the logarithm both, so the log, so you have the log base 3, okay, equals y, and this becomes x plus 3, okay, and there's the inverse, so we would have t inverse of x equals log 3 of x plus 3, okay, there we go. So that is how you find the inverse of an exponential, or uh, actually rewriting those exponentials in logarithmic form. That's what we talk about. If you have any questions or comments, let me know, and we'll see you next time.